Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Draw C. Uh, it was the uh, mobile suit, the promotion for last week. Uh, as of when you see this, in fact, the new promotion will be beginning today, so best of luck to everyone on whatever that may be. Um, but it's pretty good. It's very fast. It's an assault type, aka a raid type. And it's. You know, it's not super strong. Uh, it's got a machine gun kind of like the Jim Cold Climate, Cold Districts type. Um, you're going to hear me double naming a lot of things for the names I'm accustomed to versus the actual names. But it's got, yeah, a machine gun very much like that. Decent damage, great rate of fire, very short range, which is actually more meaningful here in space than it is on Earth, in fact. And it's also got um, the Easy 8 Beam Saber Lunge. Well, plus, as you can see, that was a tremendous amount of distance traveled. And I'm taking a bunch of hits, but I'm going to get one more lunge in on that thing before I get murdered. I think I did damage, but I'm not sure. This is actually the level 1, which is a 200 pointer, and it is in a either 250 or 300 room. I know it was too much room for the mobile suit, but I really wanted to try this and I could not find anything better. Um, for my, for, uh, you know, just by luck, one of the enemies disconnected, so that's going to give us a little bit of an edge that will probably make up for my, you know, low cost and fragility. But the other thing that this can do that, this was my first round with it, so you're not going to see me making, like, really great, uh, use of it, but I'm getting a little bit more hang of it, is it has the forced injection skill to the same level that the, say, the Thunderbolt, Gundam, and Psycho Zaku do. So, if you watch my boost gauge, yeah, just like that, I can just shift and start thrusting in another direction, and it doesn't, it maybe costs me 10% of the gauge. Th this thing has a lot of pickup, so I'm really rather fond of that. Missed with the Sturmfaust. I must, yeah, I have disadvantage against this, so it's a general, but I was doing pretty good uh, damage against it anyway. Um, decided to move in on that, but it was too late, so I am in, yeah, time to roll out of the way of the support fire, because that would have been bad. Since the question came up uh, with uh, uh, somebody I was playing with today, um, in case you didn't know this, uh, friendly support fire can hurt you. It cannot kill you. It can do, it can leave you with one hit point, but it can hurt you, so watch out. And, of course, it can also leave you stunned, so if there are enemies outside of the area of effect that see you there crouching with one hit point, you're dead. But, yeah, I like this thing, and that Beam Saber Lunge is just tremendous. It's, I think, I think it's justified in space, both by the fragility of this thing and by the fact that there's a lot more ground to cover in space. But, yeah, so... It's time for me to try and kill this thing, which, let's see if I can do it. Nope, that was too, actually far too close. This thing has enough wind-up that that was not good. But, almost. Let's see who kills who first. Good time for me to be shifting about, because I'll be a little bit harder to hit that way. I have the uh, controls set up the same for Earth and for Space, which is probably a mistake since I have those custom controls that move uh, that move boost to my uh, uh, to L1. Because in Space, that means that jump that ascend is X and descend is L2. Not exactly uh, intuitive. I've gotten used to it and I'm okay with it, but it's probably just not as you know. I'm probably just not ever going to be as natural on that control scheme as I am any other way you know as as I as anybody else would be rather because it's just that excuse me I I'm just so used to the earth controls I know if I used different controls for boost for space I would just get myself screwed up and it's you know it's better to sa for me to sacrifice a little bit of facility with that vertical plane of movement than it is to, you know, try and expect my brain to do two different things. Okay, so there's an awful lot of enemies here, and, you know, I'm trying to get 
in on them without getting surrounded, and it's not going so well so far. Uh, yeah, this is probably about where I've realized that I just need to start, you know, get back with the rest of the group, but that just puts two people on me and gets my backpack destroyed. I remember this round being more satisfying than it currently is. Well, there's that. That has a lot to do with it. But yeah, now I'm just kind of trying to sneak away because I have no health. 91 hit points is basically nothing. So we don't have a large lead, and matter of fact, after that we probably have no lead. But yeah, I, I like this thing, and when it's in a level-appropriate room like I eventually did get with one, it can, it can do some real damage. So here's hoping you got it. It was only a two-star, and I'm pretty sure it's going to stay in rotation, so I don't think it's going to be too tough to get a, a hold of. Uh, last night, I also drew the uh, Zaku 2 F2, which is has some interesting changes from the first game where it was one of the few like medium to low cost mobile suits to have a, a double dodge roll. It doesn't have that anymore, unfortunately. It has a it has double jump like the powered gym does instead. I don't know how I feel about that. I would have ha rather had the dodge roll, I think for obvious reasons, but that's just how it is. Okay, that's a Zaku 1 sniper as a raid type. That is a good target for me. And yeah, that's they, they, you know, I've fought Thunderbolt Gundams with those in space. It's not easy, because it's really hard to get a bead on you. So, yeah, that was, you know, that was a pretty good shot with that. The Beam Saber lunge for this is going to be tremendous for fighting things, slower things like this. Yeah, so there's the Sturmfaust, and I probably could have just comboed right into the uh, Saber from there. But... Okay, now I'm just waiting. He's probably going to take a pot shot at me, and I will have a chance to... Uh, yep, he tried to Sturm Faust. He hit that railing, poor guy. And that is it for him. So, yeah, the draw C is not bad. There's only about a minute left. I don't remember if I do anything else substantial for the rest of the round, but... Yeah, it, it kind of is... Kind of does remind me of the Jim Cold Climate a lot, just because of the, the short-range gun, the, you know, backup explosive, and... You know, the, it, the cold climate actually does pretty good with melee as well, but it only has the one swing. This also only has one swing, but, you know, with that lunge and the kind of melee damage it does, what a swing. So, okay, so we're just waiting for a good angle on that guy. Missed him entirely. He's got type advantage, so the machine gun's not doing much. Saber lunge didn't do anything there. Right now I'm just trying, hoping that I can get enough shots in to stun him. I did not. Um... But I'm going to try and get that. Did not get that. You can cancel out of the uh, out of the lunge, I believe. So, you know, d don't be afraid to boost cancel if you've gone the wrong way or gone too far out of your way or whatever. But yeah, we won it. And I think this thing's pretty decent. I wish I'd saved the next round, because like I said, I'd done even better in that one. But that's okay. There will be better rounds to come, and hopefully you guys will see them. But that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. Uh, good luck with the new promo, whatever that may be. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!